Hello there. This is where the fun begins. What's up guys, unofficial Star Wars here. I hope you're all doing well, and in this video we are going to be discussing something I didn't see before. Apparently Ahsoka made a mistake in its opening crawl. We're gonna go ahead and hop right on into it. In this video we are going to be taking a read from the Direct article. I'll have their article linked in the description down below for you guys to check out there as well. As a read, Star Wars fans picked up on an unexpected mistake that made it into the final cut of Lucasfilm and Disney's latest streaming show, Ahsoka. Rosario Dawson's long-awaited solo adventure paid tribute to its predecessors in a galaxy far, far away by starting off with a text crawl to catch fans up on the heroine's adventures. And so, this marks the first time that audiences have seen an opening like this since the Skywalker saga had ended with Episode 9, The Rise of Skywalker. Although, unfortunately, it seems that this moment was not entirely flawless. Rolling Stone senior writer Brian Hyatt had shared a grammatical error from from the opening crawl in episode 1 of Star Wars' Ahsoka show on his ex, formerly Twitter, account. Before the action in episode 1 kicks off, as the opening text crawl teased rumors surrounding Grand Admiral Thrawn's return, the writer Hyatt had pointed out that the once presumed dead parts actually includes a dangling modifier, saying that once presumed dead, rumors are spreading of Thrawn's return. And with the way that it's written, the sentence seems to imply that the rumors of Thrawn's comeback are dead, rather than Thrawn's death itself being the rumor. As he also says in quotes, no one copy edited the opening crawl to Ahsoka. Here we have a painful dangling modifier and a that slash which mix up. Once presumed dead, as written, refers to the rumors rather than Thrawn. The writer Hyatt had also pointed out a mix up of the words of that and which with a phrase reading learned of a secret map which is vital to the enemy's plan. Technically, that word should be switched out for that. In no way am I trying to sound like that annoying English teacher, but this is something interesting from a multi-million dollar company. This is far from the first time that Star Wars has let a mistake like this though, however, at the same time slip through the cracks, with other mishaps such as the jeans guy from The Mandalorian catching fans' eyes. As I had mentioned though, however, this is something that may sound nitpicky, or just like, why even bother with it? Why does it necessarily matter? we understand and we get the point. And two as of which I completely agree with. As I had to mention, though, I find it interesting that a multi-million dollar company is letting small things like this slip through the cracks. I'm not saying that I'm perfect or that anybody is perfect, of course. The first time that I watched through this, I didn't catch on to that clearly. I think the most interesting thing from this, the most interesting uh, takeaway from this, why we actually care about this, is does this mean that there's going to be more mistakes in the future of the Ahsoka show here with its newer episodes? Which which I bet the answer to that is going to be no, because there probably won't be any other like text or anything that they'll be able to mess up. But there's other things that they could mess up on, like maybe like a jeans guy situation, as I had to mention, of where they just have a random uh, crew member in the background or something like that. Which, in on all honesty, is honestly quite funny. And as they did go back, they revised that and they had like taken them out and everything like that, with not having the episode come off of Disney Plus necessarily either. They have that same opportunity to do that with the Ahsoka show as well, and with this situation here as well. As was for the case with Jeans Guy, the most likely outcome of this mistake will be that Disney Plus adjusts the text so that everything is grammatically sound, as I had mentioned. And while the streamer is sure to keep its eye out for any more potential errors that may pop up in the show's last six episodes, there are, are still other concerns fans have with some of the material being delivered in the overall plot, as some have complaints of maybe some of the acting or the overall story or narrative, uh, especially with recently having Sabine Wren maybe be force sensitive as something that's being more and more pushed here a little bit more. As I had mentioned in that video, that explanation video we have here on the channel, in Filoni Trust, we trust here, I think that he'll for sure do a full sound job and full circle it, uh, with explanations and everything like that. As I kind of had mentioned in that video, all they really have to do is get like a testing kit, a midichlorian testing a kit like we see Qui-Gon Jinn use on a young Anakin Skywalker and the Phantom Menace. I'll do that with Sabine Wren and show that she has midichlorians and then she'd be able to use the force, I think, and it would make more sense really. Other fans, of course, have complaints of the acting. I mean, I think that's just a given. People are always going to critique that. I think that there's explanations for maybe the reason as of to why Ahsoka acts so dry and even for the other characters. It's a depressing time. And I want to talk about this in a, a different separate video here on the channel in more detail, of course, but it's a depressing 
some time for our characters. Their friend Ezra Bridger is missing, and the uh, Thrawn is going to return here. Potentially, they're all seeing that there as well. We also hear a little bit of an explanation here into as of why Ahsoka may just feel gray. I feel like overall, and when you look at it, you look at Anakin Skywalker throughout the prequel trilogy with Hayden Christensen. He just acts very dry and overall, very uh, just mellow, very monotone. I think is the word I'm looking for. You can see how that's reflected back to Ahsoka and how that's something that she simply just picked up from her master. And the reason why Anakin or Hayden Christensen acts that way though however throughout the prequel trilogy is to best match Darth Vader and the way that he acts with that monotone kind of feel that we see throughout the original trilogy. Anyway as I had mentioned that's something I'll discuss and to talk about in a separate future video here on the channel in a little bit more depth and detail. Not to say that those are necessarily mistakes in the Ahsoka show more or less just uh, I guess labeled as mistakes falsely more just complaints or critiques really. One of those complaints came through in Sabine Wren's return, with many believing that the franchise has insulted fans of the prequel trilogy after Qui-Gon Jinn had died so swiftly from that very same injury as well. Has to be one of the most controversial, but the, believe me, there's an explanation behind it. And with some of the franchise's rules already being broken as well, audiences are sure to keep a close eye on to many of the details with Ahsoka Tano's solo journey moves forward. This year all being said though, however, overall it seems that there may have been some grammatical errors in that opening crawl, which was very cool. As I had mentioned, I was one that really loved that opening crawl, as a, a lot of other Star Wars fans probably did as well. It's a small thing. It's a small error. It's not make or break the show. I don't instantly just hate Ahsoka and everything Star Wars and everything Disney Star Wars. I think it's really just a sigh, move on type of moment, uh, really, at that. I think it's definitely something that Lucasfilm will go back through, revise, and actually fix, like they did with the Mandalorian. Mandalorian Season 2 with Jeans Guy. This year all being said though, guys, let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. I would love to hear what you guys are all thinking. What do you think about this small little mistake? Did you catch on to it at first or maybe your second, third watch through if you did watch it that many times like maybe uh, I did? I would love to hear all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. Please don't let this be a make or break it for you with the Ahsoka show. I mean, it's not the end of the world. It's small things like this and we're only human. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Of course, this has been an official Star Wars. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a great one, guys. May the Force be with you as always. Peace out.